Righto, mate. Um, good win last night. How the boys feeling this morning? Yeah, it was a good win. Uh, we come in the game um, thinking we needed to play well to, uh, against Richmond. They had a pretty last three games were pretty pretty good. So yeah, we always love coming down here and playing, and uh, we yeah really enjoyed the win. Sell out crowd. Did you did you feel their presence there last night? Yeah, we did. We thought it was a special night. Uh, the first time in uh, down in Hobart, a Friday night game, and the boys look, were looking forward to it. Big game for the club, even though we've, we've done well so far. We, this is a very important win, and we really made sure we, you know, we, we started off really well, and uh, we didn't really let off. What's so big announcement yesterday. How's the, how's the side feel about uh, staying staying down here in Tassie for some years to come? Uh, we love it. So far, it's been um, we've been here for a couple of years now, and we always get a good reception, um, and it's getting bigger and bigger. And we're just happy that you know we can bring footy down to, to you guys down down south, and um, I'm pretty sure you guys enjoy it as well. What's your thoughts on the night fixture, given it is so cold? Yeah, it was cold, but it wasn't too bad once we run around. Um, during the day, I was a bit worried, but um, once you run around, it was actually fine. So it was a perfect night. There's a little bit of wind, but um, good crowd, good atmosphere, and you know the boys played really well, so it's a good mixture. What was it like in your centre square setup, given that Goldie's been such a big part of you? What you're doing there, and not yeah. having them for the entire game last night? Yeah, I think with our side, it doesn't matter who it is. There's always someone who can come in and play a role. And, uh, last night was uh, Mad Jack and uh, Big Brownie. Uh, they swapped the inside guys. the middle, and it was uh, yeah, they got the job done. Um, that's the good thing about our side. We don't really rely on anyone, even though Goldie's probably our best player. Um, shows to show if you have got the uh, bring the effort and um, know the structures, you'll you'll do well. Was it nice to say? Uh, you know, you're not a one-man team. I mean, without Goldie, you yep. still turn on. The system still works. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we haven't been a one-man team for a while now. Um, we've just got a really good team structure. Everyone knows what's expected of each other, and um, I suppose Winnie's playing well. A bit of the icing on, on the top. So yeah. What's it like with Magic in there? Obviously, a completely yep. different ruckman to, to what Goldie is. Yeah, he's pretty dynamic. Um, he's got great speed, great power around the ball. He's got a massive leap and. Yeah, it was good. It was good for him to come and play and play well too in an important game for us and, you know, this gives him a bit of confidence because he's been playing extremely well on the VFL level and training well and we always thought he was going to do well tonight, so, yeah, any last night. Sorry, any difference in not having Brad there last night? Um, yeah, not really. It's almost similar to, to big uh, Toddy Goldstein. Um, everyone, you know, Darren came in and, you know, fulfilled the void and it was, you know, even the, the older players in the leadership group really stood up, so it was actually a good good chance for the for the club to grow again and um, yeah it just has to show once you know your structures once you know what, what, what you need to do and it's all about going out to perform and I thought we did it, did that well. And how's he doing now do you know? Yeah about I think he's on the men so I know he watched the game and he's you know that, that, that helped him a bit but yeah he'll be I'm pretty sure he'll be back next week coaching against uh, I think Geelong next Saturday night. Your veterans were probably down a bit the week before against Sydney, but uh, really bounced back well last night. Yeah, I think the whole team was down. To be honest, um, Sydney really took you know took it up to us, and you know we had a good week on the track, and we made sure we you know we wanted to come out firing um, and try and hold on as well. So we always thought it was going to be a dangerous game, but you know the team uh, really put in and you know got the victory in the end. And yourself, you were fantastic last night. Did you ever have any, like you've been through injuries, did you have any doubts that you could get back to, to the level you're playing at now? Uh, probably. You're always going to have some doubts, but, um, you know, it's pretty simple. There's not much, um, not as much pressure on myself as it was in the last couple of years before I got injured. And um, we've got good players all over the park, and I've just got to come in and play my role. And tonight I've got a little bit of the ball, but, you know, next week probably we might be different again. So um, you take it when it comes, but you don't really sort of rely on that, those types of games. It's more about your pressure and, Trying to be a you know good teammate and good team player. The club and yourself really seem to know how to manage your body now and how to get the best out of you and get you 100. percent Yeah, well that's that's the experience we had. So the Achilles and um, being a bit older as well, but we still do a lot of work on, on it now. We really don't sort of taper off at all. If anything, we just do it probably. We just keep going with it with the program we've got with it and it's working well. And um, obviously clinics good to get around the kids in oh, different yeah. parts of the world. No, we love it. We love it. Even though we're just freaking out how, how, how these kids just come out in this cold, especially down here, they don't they don't care one bit. And you know the boys enjoy this this part of the footy.